So you said you had diabetic neuropathy in your right foot. What do you mean by that? Okay, what, what did you notice? Because that's not how sharp, diabetic... Sharp stabbing, and then it'll go away and it'll come and then go away. Okay. I was up most of the night with it. Have you ever had that before? Yes. Um, okay, how long did it last? It lasted through the night. Okay. And then the next morning was okay, and I think probably what happened is I had a dental appointment on Monday, and I sat in the dental chair for about 45, 50 minutes. And right, right, my right. My circulation was. Okay. Um, yeah, because that's not how diabetic neuropathy works. Okay. Um, diabetic neuropathy will cause numbness or tingling out in your toes. I get that quite frequently. Okay, and then it'll work its way back up toward the ankle symmetrically on both sides. Oh, okay. So if you had some numbness and, and stabbing in here from sitting too long, that's more likely a sciatic nerve kind of thing. Okay. So, um, yeah, but that's gone now, right? That's gone? Yeah, it's gone. Okay. If I tap right here, does that recreate anything? Does that recreate any stabbing? Do you feel it radiating anywhere? No. Okay, but do you feel pins and needles when I tap here? No, it just feels like you're tapping. Just like I'm tapping. Okay, that's what I needed to know. Um, so, do you know what your last A1C was? Uh, it was, uh, she told me, but I don't remember it was okay. It's, she said it was okay? Yeah. All right. I just want to check one thing before we get going. Okay. All right. Um, okay. I'm going to have you... Oh, go ahead. Tangle in your hair. Okay. I'm going to have you close your eyes for a minute, and I'm just going to touch you with something real light. Just close your eyes. Okay. All right. And I want you to tell me, do you feel yep, me? Yep, I felt it. Where am I? Down near the bottom of my foot. Which foot? Left. Okay. Keep your eyes closed. No cheating. How about here? Do you feel that? Yeah, a little bit. Where do you think I am? I get to feel on the left again. Yeah, a little bit on the left. Okay. No, that was on the right. Excuse me. Okay. How about here? You feel that? That's the left on the bottom. Whereabouts on the bottom? Down near the heel. Okay. And how about there? Do you feel that? Yep, that's up near the top on the left. Okay. How about here? Yeah, I feel that. I'm not sure where that is, though. It might be on the right. Okay, but you're not sure? I feel it, but a little not... Okay. How so strongly? How about there? Uh, yeah, a little bit again on the right. Whereabouts on the right? Up near the top. Up near, up in here? Yeah. Okay. You can go ahead and open your eyes. You got about 50-50 on that. 50-50? That's kind of what so, I thought. Yeah. So that's, you know, that's kind of the standardized, one of the ways that we test for the diabetic neuropathy. Okay. So I would say that, yes, you probably do have the beginnings of it. So the things that we make sure that you remember is no walking around barefoot. Yes, okay. Um, and that you visually are checking your feet every single night. Check the... Yep, you check the bottoms of your feet and in between your toes. Okay. Because if you step on something, you might not feel it. Oh, okay. I had a patient that came in here once, and uh, he was a diabetic, and he had neuropathy, and he had a staple sticking from in here to in there, and had no idea it was there. Wow. And so we're lucky we caught it in time so that he didn't end up with anything infected. But that can be the beginning of how things get amputated. <laughs> oh. oh. So you want to just... Had his right leg from the knee down. From diabetes? Mm hmm Your son? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. You didn't take care of it. I think it seems to me that where I have the least feeling are the are the two small toes on the right foot. Okay. Can hardly feel them at all.
So if you get that stabbing in your foot again, uh -huh. maybe relax your foot here. Relax. Relax. Um, maybe try getting up and walking. Ah, okay. Because if it's coming from your back, sometimes if you get up and walk it off, uh -huh. you'll move it enough in your back. It'll, it'll go away? Yep. Also, if it is related to poor circulation, getting it up and walking it off should help as well, like when you get a, a leg cramp at night. Okay. I've had trouble with both big toes, kids, my toe. Some pain. Mm hmm Doesn't last too long, but... Yeah, and all of that can be both, it can be circulation or it can be the neuropathy, either one. Okay. It's if it gets more frequent or more severe or if it doesn't go away that we need to hear back from there. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Am I making you nervous? <laughs> no, I'm not gonna, yet. I'm going to lower the chair a little bit because you're pulling this foot so far back from me. You make me turn upside down to get at it. <gasps> Stand on your head. Well, kind of turned upside down to see what I'm doing here. I feel like it, I feel dental. Just going to use an emery board because you really don't have any real thick nails here. Every day for this would be really nice. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd only charge you a hundred bucks. I mean, for the foot massage? Yeah. 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 For you, your long time patient, 110. <laughs> now, you don't need any help with shoes, right? Not the shoes, no. Okay. I sure appreciate the help with the socks, though. <laughs> yeah, and if you need it, remember we got a shoehorn. We have a shoehorn right here if you need it. A long one. Oh, yeah. Okay. There you go. 